In this video, I want to tell you about BlendShake, which is a new Blender add-on that was made to help you move work between Blender, Unreal Engine 5, and Substance Painter. The idea behind it is simple. Instead of juggling export settings and manually re-importing everything, BlendSync lets you send models from Blender to Unreal or Substance, and back again almost immediately. It basically handles tricky stuff, like converting formats and setting up materials for you. So how does it work? The promise of this add-on is that exporting from Blender to Unreal is basically a one-click process. So where do we start? You select one or multiple objects in Blender and hit Export to Unreal Engine 5 button. Then in Unreal, just press Import Assets. And just like that, your meshes show up in Unreal, with their materials and textures applied. BlendSync automatically creates proper material instances in Unreal and plugs in all the texture maps for you meaning your materials look different and you get dozens of parameters to tweak directly in Unreal without additional work. It also keeps things tidy. All the imported meshes, materials and textures go into organized folders, I mean in your Unreal project, which means you don't have to go through random import locations. The add-on even handles special cases. For example, if you name a material glass, that is in Blender, then Sync will detect that and use a special glass shader in Unreal and it exports emissive maps so any glowing parts of your model come through with adjustable brightness in Unreal, which is really interesting. But what about going the other way? Well, BlendSync has you covered too. You can take assets from Unreal, say you made changes or have some ready-made assets there. You can take assets from Unreal and send them back into Blender just as easily. It supports static meshes, lights, cameras, and full materials. So most of your scene content, can round trip between the two programs really smoothly. When you import into Unreal, it even adds your objects to the level at the same position they were in Blender scenes, maintaining your layout. Now, what about Substance Painter? The add-on auto creates a new file layer in Substance Painter and imports all the textures into the proper channels, because BlendSync isn't just about Blender and Unreal. It also brings Substance Painter into the mix for a better texturing workflow. So, if you want to texture your model in Substance, you can send your Blender asset to Substance Painter on the fly. The add-on exports your selected meshes, along with their materials and textures, and in Substance Painter, you just hit the Import button from the BlendSync plugin. Your mesh appears in Substance Painter with materials ready to go. In fact, BlendSync will automatically create a new fill layer in Substance to hook up all the texture maps to the appropriate channels for you so you don't have to manually assign each map in Substance. Once you're done painting, getting those update textures back into Blender is just as easy. Just export the textures from Substance via BlendSync, then hit Import in Blender, and your Blender materials update with new maps. As you can see, the add-on also comes with a bunch of thoughtful features to keep your workflow smooth and error-free. For example, a diagnostic panels in Blender will warn you if something about your asset might cause some problems. For example, if you use the wrong characters in names or non-PBR shader nodes. Under the hood, it uses well-supported formats like FBX for geometry and leverages Unreal's USD interchange for lights and cameras. So as you can see, the developer kept lots of things in mind to help you exchange files and formats between different 3D software. So if you are interested, you will find all the necessary links in the description. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.